Hi, welcome to my Everyday Today Kids. Today I shall be teaching how to do therapy, so if older siblings or kids who really want to learn how to do therapy, really want to do therapy, you know, to their siblings or or to friends, um, I'm going to tell you about my experience with my little sister. So, when my sister was three years old, um, she had a stroke, right now she's four. She had a stroke and it affected her right side. So if you do not know what a stroke is, I, I, here's your chance to know. So a stroke is when basically one part of your brain gets affected. Sometimes you know, sometimes you don't know, usually you don't. So we didn't know what affected it this time, but something affects your brain, one part of your brain, where, it, where on your right side, your brain can't just send a message and say, touch my shoulder. So, um, so that's what she basically had. It literally just affected one side of the brain. She couldn't talk, she couldn't walk. Well, she could walk, but it, she dragged her left foot. Now, today, um, basically, I have to be, I have to learn more about the foot therapy, but I know much about the hand therapy. So, since my sister is trying to gain back her strength on her right hand, we are trying to do base, basically therapy, not letting her use her good arm and force her to do her right, to use her right arm. Now, if you've been hearing a lot of noise, I shall tell you what it is. It's this, we got it at the dollar store. Putty. Noisy putty, um, and putty is very good for therapy. We got this one at the dollar store because it's really good for therapy. Just so you know, if you hear some weird noise, it's this putty, see? It farts a lot. Anyway, yes, anyway, you should take putty. Putty could be used in many different ways. Now, for example, you may you can take out putty and I shall show you the example you can do with putty. Now, let me show you on the table what you can do with putty that is very good. So what you may what you can do with putty is very simple, very easy. You can learn a lot in putty and here, let me show you what we do. Let me show you on the table. She does not want to do it because it's hard. So this is what I'm going to show you. Um, I'm so because of my sister got affected with her right arm. If any of your friends or siblings get affected on their arm, left arm, right arm, any of their arms or both, I'm going to teach you some therapy for it. So um, you have to keep the kids interested in what they're playing. And I'm thinking that you could keep your 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 sibling, your your friend interested by making therapy fun. So for example, you can roll up putty, whatever putty, just as long as it's soft and stretchy and easy to control. That's fine. We got this one at the dollar store. Noisy putty makes different noises. But anyway. So what I want to, what I think is would be really good to do was to shape this into just a little ball. Shape your putty into a ball and put it on your table and see how the ours makes weird shapes like that. I had it into a ball and it made it like that. So if yours does that, then just let it do that. But if yours just stays like a ball, then after you make it like a ball, we need you to sort of flatten it where it's like that. Then you can just roll then you can just let your sibling friend roll it around. Tell your sibling to roll it around, to roll it back and forth so it can look like, let's say, a snake. So after they get it as thin as they can, where it won't, at the point where it won't break, but it is thin, you can make it fun for them. Like, let's say, for example, your little sibling or friend likes a hot dog. Say, well, look at your very thin hot dog you just made. Very thin hot dog. Or you could say, look at the big smile you made. A big smile. Like that. So just make it all fun for them. So basically what you want to do is to keep them interested. Make, um, let's say you put a bunch of pigs and dig it into there. You can say, okay, 
It was all this putty, and this big, large, big, big, big putty pile. There shall be a big surprise, a big putty treasure cap. Now you have to find that treasure cap. So you tell your siblings to either do it with only the hand that's that they're working on, or to do it with both. Stretch it out, look for it, look for it until they find it. Just tell them to spread off all the goo and then take it off. Now that's another way to make it very interesting. You get much putty and then put some stuff inside that won't that putty won't affect it. It would be very good. Now this is just some few examples for you to do therapy. Um. So, yeah, really, putty is a great subject, something that kids keep interested. My sister goes to therapy, and she just loves the putty there. Like I said, you bury something in there, let's say this turtle, bury, 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 and say, sibling, just find something. And when they find it, be proud for them. Just, you don't have to be like, yeah, you did it. You just have to say, yay, you did it. Keep them interested. Keep them like they really did it. They did all they could. So, yeah, that's what you really have to act like. Or let's say, let's say you're working on a Lego set. A Lego set and you want to teach them the colors or you want to teach them speech again. Well, let's say you built a Lego set or you have a big um, poster with many different colors. Either one, you just point and say, what color is this? And when they answer, if they say, uh, I don't know, say, it starts with a G and I know you can do it. Encourage them. Really make them feel interested like they really can do it. No, really, that would work for their speech. Teach them the colors, the ABCs. Put on a song from YouTube or just sing the ABCs yourself. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P. So sooner or later, they'll, you know, start learning. So, um, yeah, I'm teaching you a little bit of everything today. Um, I taught you a little things for your hand and I also thought you a little something for speech just teach them the numbers teach them the letters sing it until they know it by memory